Good morning, everyone. So today we are continuing our road trip through the Peloponnese here in Greece. We're going to drive around the Mani Peninsula, and I think we have some pretty good stops planned. Yeah, our first stop is an abandoned shipwreck that washed up right on the beach, it's about an hour away. Yeah, we're gonna head there first, but hopefully along the way we can find some coffee or breakfast because we have not had anything today, and it's time for some coffee. We ran into a little market, bought the essentials, some fruit, bread, and vegetables, and some little salads. I think I might go in there and get grab a coffee to go. Let's do it. Now we have all of the essentials. Okay. As we continued along our road trip in the Peloponnese, we found the Demetrios shipwreck on Google Maps and decided to see it for ourselves. You can kind of see her. Wow, so we just pulled off to this beach here. It's our first stop on our road trip and we came to see the shipwreck. It is so cool. shipwreck here we didn't exactly know the story behind it so I went ahead and looked it up and it's pretty interesting so shrouded in mystery this rusted freighter appeared on the beach in 1981 the more colorful story goes that the vessel was being used to smuggle cigarettes and was torched to hide the evidence that's the story on why this ship might be on this beach so rusty and old looking, it seems out of place on this you know, beautiful beach. I love the graffiti, gives it a cool little look. So that shipwreck was awesome. Time to head back, grab some lunch, and head to the next destination. I believe we're going to a beach town. We are heading to Cardamilli, which is our end destination, which is where we're sleeping tonight. And it should be about another hour and a half drive to get there. Cardamilli is one of, they say, the people online say that it is the most picturesque and serene town to stay in on the Mani Peninsula. So we are going to go stay there and find out for ourselves if it is as picturesque and serene as they say. The village of Cardamilli is a great spot to base yourself for exploring the Mani Peninsula. Oh, ocean view. This is nice. We just arrived to our apartment and it's so beautiful. We can see the ocean. And then when we come up here, it's actually an entire apartment. So we booked a studio, but they're currently painting it. So we got a free upgrade to the apartment that's downstairs. Oh yeah. And we have this whole living space with a little kitchenette and she left us fresh oranges to make fresh orange juice. And the oranges right now in Greece are amazing. There's orange trees everywhere. So we're very excited about that. Here we have a king size bed. So that is most definitely an upgrade. So Sammy's making us some orange juice now. Stella insisted. <laughs> Stella insists I will make some orange juice. Besides, I've never done this before and it's kind of fun. Fresh squeeze orange juice. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. So you're gonna want like a big glass in the morning for mm. breakfast? It's really so good. And she made us Greek coffee. It's actually delicious too. Is it? She gave us all of these like breads and cookies and olives and it's hot. But Stella. Can you make me coffee in the morning? Stella! 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 So after we checked in, I wanted to go explore the area, of course, so I walked through the town. I just got done checking out the marina. Now I'm going for this hike up this hill. I'm looking for a good sunset view, but just enjoying the scenery.
So we decided to have a relaxing beach day today and we're here in Cardamilly, but one beach down, we found this little cove here and it's completely isolated and there's nobody here. And we just parked on the side of the road up here and we're gonna walk down this little stone pathway and spend the day at this little beach down here. Look at that water though. So blue. It is turquoise blue. And a great spot with small pebbles. And we have reading materials, snacks, and the beautiful sun. It's gonna be a great day. Perfect. We came back from the beach and enjoyed the sunset from our balcony, eating up all of our yummy leftover snacks from Stella. Today we are leaving Cardamelli and heading to the very scenic town of Naplio. Yes, so we're headed to Naplio. It's a two and a half hour drive. We might make some stops along the way if we see anything interesting to pull over for. Time to hit the road. So we are currently passing through the beach town of Kalamata. It was gonna be where we maybe like stopped and had lunch, chilled at the beach for a little bit, but it is like very gray and looks like it's about to rain outside. So we're going to continue on our journey and just head up to Nafleo now. So we just checked in here and it's a nice, big new apartment, very modern, big bedroom, haven't tried the bed out yet. Came with a washing machine. Yes. I know that doesn't sound like much you guys, but when you're on the road, the little things like that mean everything. And it was a surprise. Usually I have to like hunt for a washing machine. Okay. So we have not only an ocean view, but also a castle view. So they have a castle here in Nathcleo. We're probably gonna go explore a little bit later on. And then we have a nice, big, amazing view of the city and the ocean. We only have a couple more days here in Greece and this is where we're spending them. Naplio is located only about two hours from Athens, making this a great final stop before we needed to return our rental car. Naplio is a stunning port town, which makes a great base for exploring a few of the ancient sites. The town's history traces back to the prehistoric era. It has appealing restaurants, a beautiful main square, fortresses, and old romantic neighborhoods. Some would even say that it is the most charming town in the Peloponnese. Today we are heading to the ancient theater of Epidaurus. So we're staying in Nafcleo, which is a great place to base yourself if you want to drive to Epidaurus. It's only 30 minutes away. Ancient Corinth is only 45 minutes away and Athens is an hour and 45 minutes away. So this is a great beach town to base yourself in. And today we're doing a day trip to Epidaurus. <laughs> We made it. it. Actually, took about 20 minutes. It was quicker than we thought. Two, please. We are in. So it was only six euros a person. I think it includes the museum, the theta, and it looks like there's a bunch of walking paths along here. You can explore some other ruins as well. Did you say theater? Theta. The theater. Let's go see the theater. This theater was built in 330 BC. It has 55 rows of seats and it's so well known for its acoustics. The sound and acoustics are so well made that you can stand in the middle of the stage and all the way 55 rows up talking in a normal voice. You're supposedly be able to hear everything perfectly clear. And I think we're gonna test that. So Sammy's gonna stay below and I'm gonna hike up, we're gonna test it out. All right, heading up. So I'm at the very top and Sammy's right in the middle. We're gonna test the sound quality now. Can you hear me? Hello. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. I can hear you. 
That is pretty crazy. I can hear her so well. And she's so quiet as it is. She's embarrassed there's about 10 people here. <laughs> Even the birds that are chirping, it just echoes, reverberates off these seats. We just walked through the museum and the rest of the site here. There's a bunch of other ruins, but nothing competes with the theater. It's mostly just rubble, nothing's really intact. But if you have good enough imagination, you can make it happen. That's it for Epidurus. We are rolling out now. We're here at Palomita's Fortress at the top of Naplio. The views are incredible, and we are gonna go explore the fortress before we hit the road again. We just got our tickets. They are four euros a piece to get inside the fortress. I gotta show you guys these views. They are incredible. The city looks a lot smaller from all the way up here than it did driving in. So this fortress is actually three different fortresses walled together and it was built by the Venetians in 1714. View. Wow. wow, the view is so good. Holy cow, somebody is down there swimming. No way. Swimming. Look at that person down there doing laps. That person, whoever that is, is a beast. So cold out here right now. I could not even imagine putting my toe in the water and somebody is out there doing laps. So if you're staying downtown Napoli, you can actually take the stairs all the way up to the fortress. There's 999 steps, but since our time crunch, we just drove up here, which is also easy, just takes a few minutes. Free parking, makes it easy. Usually when you come into like these little, I don't know, hole in the walls, it's usually just like a little stone room. This is like a whole hallway. Guard you from the wind. Except for the peace spots. Ew! It's hiding from the invaders. They're very dangerous invaders. They're called the wind invaders. <laughs> Come on. Are they gone? Yeah, let's keep going. Wow, this fortress is so large. One side you see the city, the other side's the complete sea. Whew. We're hiking up to the very top now. We enjoyed our last sunset in Greece and then drove back to Athens the next day. We really loved getting off the beaten path and we want to say thank you to all the locals who helped guide us. Sadly, we just dropped off our car. We are at the airport now and about to fly to Paris. So we were just in Paris about a year and a half ago, so we're not gonna do the major sights again. Probably just relax, eat good food, yeah. and then just enjoy the scenery a little bit. It'll be fun, starting now. We're in Paris, baby. Our Paris trip was cut short because of the pandemic. We only had two days in Paris, but we still enjoyed this amazing city. If you watch our channel regularly, you probably know that we traveled from March of 2019 to March of 2020. After returning home, the pandemic gave us the time we needed to start editing the massive amounts of footage we had accumulated on our trip. And those are the videos that you guys have been watching for the past two years. That season of life gave us time to grow our little channel and save money for more travel. We visited Olympic National Park during our time back in Washington, and we will be putting out that video next week. Week. After that, we will be publishing a short Canada series that we filmed last fall. Woo! I love Canada! 
then we are finally caught up and we are so excited to film new content for you guys. We wanted to say thank, thank you for you. sticking around through our older footage and coming along on this journey with us. Also, a quick side note. In our Canada videos, Tommy has very long hair that he grew out during quarantine. It's kind of funny because then he also cut it off right after Canada. So for three videos, you guys will see him with some very long hair. And I would love to know what you guys think. Are you guys team long hair or team short hair? Let us know in the comments below. And I hope this little short recap answered all of your questions and kind of bridged the gap between old videos and new videos. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.